بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Today إن شاء الله تعالى we want to talk about تقوى uh, تقوى in the month of Ramadan fearing Allah سبحانه وتعالى and as we said before تقوى is to put between a person and the and a person's um, a person and the uh, Adab of Allah, the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for someone to put a, a barrier, a buffer zone, a, pro- a protection, okay, between them and the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in numerous ayat, okay, وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that you may, that you may um, 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 be successful. So what is the uh, secret to success in terms of this life and the next? The secret to success is taqwallah, is is what do you call it? Is is fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his final days when speaking to the people in Hajjatul Wada, in the final uh, farewell pilgrimage, and towards the end of his life, he would say, Usikum bi taqwallahi azza wa jal. Okay, was sam'a wa ta'a that I, uh, that I, that I, be, that I uh, bequeath to you, I tell you, okay, my parting advice, this wasiyah that I'm giving to you, this parting advice that I'm giving to you is to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for Muslims to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because if you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you will be successful and you will be mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your, in your actions, in your statements and in that which you do. And in this month of Ramadan, it's very important to, for us as Muslims that we really are cognizant and remind ourselves that it is the month of fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's not the month of tala'ub, it's not the month of, of playing around. This is a month that you and I, okay, it's a fursa it is a it is a golden opportunity for you and I to actually change and to change ourselves. And as the ulama, when they speak about, they speak about life, one scholar in particular, he describes life and he says it in a way which is so poignant that I think all of us should, you know, really think about it. He says, Al Hayatu Fursatun Wahida, that life is one chance, Ghayru Qabil and there's no way you can get your money back. There's no way for you to change it. You get one hayat, hayatun wahida, you get one uh, chance at life. If you fail it, everything is is finished. Everything is destruction. Everything is total failure. Okay? So if we want to be successful, then we need to have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the asas of taqwa, where does taqwa, where does taqwa start? Taqwa starts from the heart. Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith, Ala wa inna fi kulli jasidi mudgha. Is it not the case that in every person's body, there is a mudgha, there is a clump of flesh. إِذَا صَلُحَتْ صَلُحَ الْجَسُدُ كُلُّهُ If it is good, then the whole body is good. وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ فَسَدَ الْجَسُدُ كُلُّهُ And if it is bad, then the whole body is bad. أَلَا وَهِيَ الْقَلْبُ Is it not the heart? Is it not the heart? So this is a type of thing that Muslims need to understand. And salah is not just between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most important. But a person needs to have salah or he between between what do you call it? Between different people. Between him and his between him and his Lord. Between him and his parents. Between him and his and his brothers and sisters. Between him and the society that he lives in at large. A Muslim needs to be a person who is a cause of good and is a person that rect- rectifies between warring parties. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran? وَإِن طَائِفَتَانِ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ اقْتَتَلُوا فَأَصْلِحُوا بَيْنَهُمَا That if a warring party of Muslims fall into fighting and Allah says وَإِن طَائِفَتَانِ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ From the believers which even shows us that even Muslims, believers can fall into fighting. فَأَصْلِحُوا بَيْنَهُمَا And Make islah, make an agreement, make people come back together, okay? Reconcile, be the person that causes Muslims to reconcile, okay? Reconciliation and to forgive one another and to become upright and to stand firm upon the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us to do that even with his slaves. So when it comes to, when it comes to, okay, 
um, uh, uh, what do you call it? When it comes to um, uh, 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 um, um, uh, taqwa and fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in this month of Ramadan, it is very important that we fulfill it and we try our best to implement it in our lives and it comes from small deeds doing small deeds leaving away muharramat things which are haram a uh, bit by bit little by little okay the rasulullah uh, aisha uh, uh, the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam was asked in a hadith you know ayyu amalin ahabbu ila allah what what uh, what actions of the most beloved to allah, beloved to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said adwamuha wa in qal he said the the most beloved uh, actions to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the ones that are done all the time even if they're minute even if they are minute so when it comes to the month of Ramadan it's a time time for change a time for uh, rectification a time for uh, 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 what do you call it a time for change a time for 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 uh, you know uh, a person to kind of ponder and think about you know their akhirah and on that basis inshallah ta'ala we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless our Ramadan and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it a point of islah for all the Muslims all over the world. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Kaliyat Medina fi London yujtama' al-lughat mukhtalifa wal-jinsiyat mukhtalifa wal-thaqafat mukhtalifa likay yatlub al-ilm. Etudier l'Arabe, les sciences islamiques avancées et le Coran n'a pas qu'enrichi notre connaissance pero también creado lazos de amistad para toda la vida Medina College es un colegio de islámico más que un tapi kami memiliki tujuan yang sama untuk memperdalam pemahaman kami tentang Islam aquí nos aprendemos las nuestras experiencias y culturas so help us grow help us reach new edges of the world and help us spread knowledge of Islam to the future generations